Research has found that 12% of all couples in the United States have problems getting pregnant, problems with infertility. That's over 7 million couples. Um, you're probably thinking, well, how can upper cervical chiropractic have anything to do with infertility? How can a problem in my neck prevent me from being able to get pregnant or have children? Well, let me tell you a story about Mindy. So just like you probably watching this video, Mindy really had uh, did not believe that upper cervical chiropractic or uh, a problem in her neck could have anything to do with her ability to get pregnant. So Mindy came to me and uh, she had spent over $180,000 trying to get pregnant. So we checked her, we did a, a, an upper cervical uh, evaluation and we found that she definitely had a misalignment at the top of her neck and that was interfering with the normal transmission from her brain to her body. Now, where does that go? Well, it's really impossible to know. It could be interfering with the messages, say, to her reproductive system. We made a very specific correction to that top bone, putting it back perfectly where it's supposed to be. And then we did a post evaluation and we found that now the bone was repositioned. So I told Mindy, I said, okay, so now what we need to do is we need to keep an eye on this over the next several months uh, so that as soon as that bone goes back out, we get it back in place. As we keep the bone in place, the communications open back up between the brain and the body, and then things, the body starts to heal, and then we hope to see that the reproductive system starts to work like it's supposed to. Well, Mindy left. Mindy never showed up again. Uh, she canceled her next appointment, and uh, so a couple months went by, and I'm in the office uh, seeing patients, and and uh, my office manager comes up to me. She says, Dr. Drew, you got a phone call, uh, and uh, it's some uh, some lady from Dallas. So I go and I, I pick up the phone. I said, hello. They said, Dr. Drury, I love you. Here I am two months later. I've not done anything else and I'm pregnant. I was like, wow, congratulations. Now, Mindy is kind of the exception. Okay, It doesn't often happen from one correction. Now, it has happened before from one correction, but uh, what you have to do is we have to find out if there's something that could be potentially interfering with the messages from your brain getting to the reproductive system to make sure that everything happens the way it's supposed to. If there's a problem there, and if we can remove any interference between your brain and your body, then things start to work normal. Okay, there's a reason why if you're not able to get pregnant, there's a reason. Okay, now it could very possibly be that your body's just got some interference problems, some electrical wiring issues that when straightened out can normalize and the body can then actually do what it's supposed to do, the way it's intended.